What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today we're doing an interesting deck. We're going to call this Psycho Shrooms. Uh, the idea is, I'd say the main idea of this deck is to play a mushroom deck that does not force you to play fast. You can do the plays where you're either playing Shroom for 2 on turn 1 or even more Spore on turn 1 and following it up with Buff Shroom. Uh, we also are running Rescue Radish, and the main card I'd actually like to Rescue Radish in this deck is the Buff Shroom to put this back in your hand and then replay uh, the Buff Shroom the next turn in order to get an extra buff on all of your Mushrooms. Uh, you, but you can play slow as well. You can just pass the first couple of turns. You can use Shroom for 2 as a control card and then use the Rescue Radish later to not only put a 3 cost 3-4 three, great stats on the field, but get that little Shroom, the back Shroom, you know, the front one is going to die. Uh, you can get the back one in your hand, and you're going to be able to then use that again to combine it either with a Pine Clone or with a uh, Gloom Shroom. So you can just set, you can even just pass the first couple of turns and uh, play Rescue Radish or Sporticus on turn three, which is also a Mushroom. I think it's a card I, I don't use enough, but it really can drive opponents, especially they're running a lot of tricks. <laughs> Goofy face. Uh, drive them nuts. You can set up your Shroom for twos on turn three and then hit them with a Pine Clone and then build on top of that either with Mushroom combo plays uh, or with your finishers, which again are going to be Gloom Shroom, which does a lot of damage. Obviously also can do nine damage total to uh, three zombies if they have that and Brainana is also going to act as a finisher. Rescue Radish can work in a pinch with Brainana on turn nine that will be able to scoop this back and replay it denying them uh, the tricks for an extra turn. You can also use it even on a Gloom Shroom. If you have a good Gloom Shroom, pick this up and then throw it back at them and actually field clear them for 9 damage. I know it's really expensive, but every once in a while, it is worth it. Let's see how a deck like this does. We're going to keep an eye on the uh, Rescue Radish. I only wanted to run 3 Pine Clones, not 4, because it's really good with the Shroom for 2 and like the more Spore, but... Uh, not as good if you've played several buff, shroom or buff shrooms already. It comes useless at that point. We'll keep an eye on that, too. Uh, let's see how this deck does. Hope you guys enjoy. And uh, really going to be trying to be playing smart here. <laughs> trying. Uh, and, you know, kind of look at the opponent. Realize what their strengths and weaknesses are. Do they... Are they good at dealing with early game or late game? Like, z is a very early game based opponent. And uh, maybe we'll play a little bit more setups. Instead of just, um, you know, swarming brainlessly, uh, trying to swarm um, just Shroom for 2 on turn 1, Buff Shroom on 2. I think the Buff Shroom becomes more potent and reliable when you have uh, the possibility of late game plays. And we have enough late game in the stack to justify that. I think this is fine. I think these two work together. And we have Berry Blast. We're going to play slow against Z-Mech. You can't, you know... I'm not going to rush z down with Shroom for 2s, and he's just going to Lightning Bolt his ultimate ability, Missile Madness, the whole thing, so. So, yeah. Alright, so we are going to do... We should have time for 10 games. This game shouldn't go too long. Uh, so if you think this deck will go 8 wins out of 10, vote yes. 7 out of 10 is going to be a no over here at the live stream, twitch.tv forward slash prime up. Um... I'm going to pass again. There's no point in rushing here because he's just going to remove the buff shroom and end up with a 2-2 on the field. Who cares? Uh, it's way better to sport a kiss and then do a much wider buff shroom play later. Uh, Pine Clone's also very good here on turn 4. You can just zero cost mushroom into 2 3 three. It's really good. 3 threes are very good against the mech. 3 threes are very good against a lot of things. Um, the other cool thing we're doing in this deck is that we have Punish Shroom and Gloom Shroom are both field clear cards. Uh, here's the play. I think, well, if he absorbs, if this, if this absorbs the lightning bolt, eh, it should be okay. I could have very blasted this too, but it doesn't really matter. I think if he uses one of his ultimate abilities to kill 3-3, three, three, I think that's okay. Um, so you have field clear with your gloom shroom and your punish room. You have anti-tricks with both Sporticus and Brainana. Uh, then you have big removal with the spring bean, so it almost sort of is like a counter trap. Weird play, because uh, he's taking two. He's doing three. I don't know. It just slowly dies. Uh, I can actually blow that. I don't want a pine clone quite yet. Uh, we'll blow that though. That's a really powerful card. Um, I'm, I'm just trying to think: should I blow or should I spring bean? 
Uh, if I blow, we could go for the buff shroom play. It makes the pine clone sad. I could do this, though. It's not terrible. It's actually going to be 8 damage. Alright, let's do it. It's nice to use blow on a single card. We don't know that we're going to necessarily have that later. Uh, we'll do this once on heights. I don't know about the pine clone anymore. You always put this one in front, by the way. Team ups are better, so you want the non team up, the buff shroom, to die. We'll see what we get. We It could be we're just going to end up spring beaning and doing just 8 damage a turn, and that's how we're going to win. I love how these don't die to missile madness, to the splash. This doesn't die even to the base of it. We're in really good shape. We got either 3 plus 2 or 3 plus 2. We should be able to answer basically anything he does here. And tricks again. Fruitcake plus chicken. I don't know, man. It's not not a very efficient um, trick play. Trick situation. Trickuation. Interesting. So we're going to go 3. And we'll berry blast the stronger card. His tricks get punished. He's really getting low on health, and the two damage here is going to make a difference. Why are you doing that, though? Why not kill the punish room? Because he wanted one of his superpowers, but why? Oh my god, he's almost dead. I think he just California rolled, which is very sad, but still, man. So now we just... It's probably just double spring beam. We don't even need the pine clones. Well, keep an eye if the pine clones break too much. I'm just going to take them out of this deck. I love the way we're playing this, though. I don't get that play, though, man. Why would you not kill them? <laughs> so stupid, man. Right? Come on, man. This doesn't matter where this goes. Just, probably should have gone here. It doesn't matter. Okay, so now we bungees that. Face. Face. He gets a superpower. That's guaranteed lethal on the superpower. Okay, great. Good plays, bro. <laughs> Somebody kill me. Yeet. He dead. I think that's going in the fail count. I thought so. Come on, man. It's not a good play. Uh, Punisher. <sighs> so far, our deck is doing pretty good. Uh, I, honestly, I kind of like the fact the pine clone brick there. I, I have no problem. To, I know we kind of named it Psycho Shrooms after Psycho Pine Clones. I have no problem removing pine clone completely from this deck. We'll definitely keep an eye on that. We got 10 games to play here. <clears throat> Again, uh, slower, I think, is better. Should I hold this? Uh, against Rust Bolt. You know, there's Teacher, but it's too slow. Oh, we have a fast start now? It's so weed sprayable, though. You know, if we get, like, rain or something. I don't know if I do this. I mean, if we go all in with Puff Shroom, Buff Shroom, Little Buddy, and then Punish Shroom, we're just living and dying with him either having weed spray. Guy also passed turn. I feel like there's two types of Rust Bowl decks. There's Control, and there's Swarm. I'll put Trick in the same category as Storm. I'm going to go with my gut and actually not try to play too fast here. Against, like, you know, if I would have seen Middle Manager there or Teacher, I probably would have played the Shroom for two. Man, now we got some stuff going on. It is Swarm, though. Huh. Huh. Hmm. So, we, we have to actually start playing fast. 
actually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a little off curve. So I want to do two damage to face. I think I do. I don't want to buff that middle manager too much. We're going to go after the, the kite flyer next turn. I think it's like this. And we will take the two damage to face. We want the non-team-up getting damaged. The team-up's better if it remains on the field. More versatile. I feel like we're fine here, though. Because now we're going to go Shroom for two Buff Shroom. Which is going to be a hell of a field. And now in Weed Spray, we'll second Buff Shroom coming in clutch. Then we'll have four or five. Look at us winning the trade in this lane now. So it's got to be Shroom for two here so we can kill the flag. Um, the question is, do I want to buff Shroom in three? Or here? Uh, having the Punish Shroom here will probably be good. I think we'll just trade against the 2-1. Why not? It, there's no, like, going viral or anything we have to play around here. Thankfully, no teacher. So the cool thing is, is that this Trigger Treater he just buffed, which is, I mean, he's getting low in cards. Really low in cards. Um, I, I mean, we're bouncing it back to his hand. Anyway, this is a pretty good targeted blow against a 2-5 Trigger Treater. Oh man, look at the curve. Look at the curve, bros. Uh, this has got to be, this got to be the last turn we're going to end up playing this anyway. It doesn't matter which one we hit. Um... I'm gonna... well... Do I want this to hit? There's also gonna be more of a Gloomshroom play if we do it here. It's probably even best to do it here. Oh, I can actually play it here and keep the Shroom alive. And then we can cover this Shroom with the Gloomshroom. It's not a bad play. <coughs> That's okay though, that Sugar Retreat just died. Trading with the Punish Room. Get two damage to face. Gloom Shroom, even Dry is good here. And uh, best case scenario, we're gonna... We're gonna hit two minions here. That would be really good. Didn't happen. There's no real point in trading the 3-1 for the 2-1 here, I don't think. Unless he starts leaping this. Uh, I think we just go face. We better to get five Bullseye in. This Brainana is going to hit hard here. Opponent has two cards. Use a Sugar Retreat. Yes, down to three health. I mean, we have a Berry Blast and a Brainana on deck. It doesn't really get much better than that. We got this guy, bros. Oh, we got this guy. Look how devastating Brainana is in this situation, too. Oh my god, get the heck out of here, man. I mean, what? It block. Heal doesn't do anything. Chop doesn't help. Heal will get him to 9. We are doing 9. Um, and his super obviously doesn't save him. That's guaranteed lethal. Got him. Uh, Brianna getting it done once again. <laughs> Fry him up. Do you have any IRL friends? I know you didn't mean that to be offensive, Freshwater, but uh, yes, I have IRL friends. <laughs> Just uh, advice. When you ask people questions like that, uh, they might be take offense to it. I know you're you're asking that innocently, but you know it's kind of asking a person, "Do you have a life? Like, do you like have a life?" You know. Damn, I was strong. I'm I'm just keeping that head, man. Ooh, we got rain. And again, not a lot of field clear coming out of Boogaloo. There's no Z-Max Super or... I'm gonna play fast now. We'll play around Trapper territory. There's chickening, but we, we actually beat chickening with, with rain on four. No answer to the Shroom for two. Love to see it. Look at this. Is he, now we're gonna play the deck completely... Oh my god. We're gonna play the deck completely different. New deck, guys. 
I'm actually going to save both of these lanes for the Punish Rooms. You want these to be on the right so things get destroyed during the attack phase before the Punish Room itself gets destroyed. Want your other shrooms dying first. I mean, that's 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 the correct lane for the bungee. Okay, double field clear. Honestly, though, the bungee, he used two cards, and I still end up with a 2-2 on the field. We're, we're winning. We also have a superpower, and he don't. Yummy avocado, guacamole. I'm going to not commit the pop shroom here. Guacamole. That is okay. Technically, if you count the damage, that was a one-for-one one trade. We hit his face. I think that's a win. Guacamole. Guacamole. Uh, yeah, we'll do the- well, maybe we'll find something to rescue Radish. The rescue Radish looks a little sad right now. Was there a play where I rescue Radish and then Shroom for two and do all this next turn? That might have actually been better. We'll get a whole extra Shroom then. There's chickening. Too slow! Too slow! So he proc the block. It actually all- his superpowers. Well, hopefully he misses. Double miss? Okay, that's fine. Now I can't tell if we're winning. It's just he's gotten superpowers we haven't. It's nice. Sneezing. Super annoying. So I think the 3 4 here is going to be better. We really like the fact he's charging our block meter. The only reason he has card advantage is from his blocking. But he's down to 6. We're at 16, man. I wasn't really expecting uh, any tricks that turn. This is a cool play. Uh, come on. Uh, come on. Uh, come on. I think this is fine here, and then like this. It's a lot of face damage. Again, his superpowers typically don't kill a 3-3. Three, three, so he always gets punished for that. Okay, great. <laughs> it's running cake, guys. It, it anyway punishes. Yeah, so it's just extra damage. Roll one. Doesn't matter. No lightning bolt. He got evaporate in his hand. Lightning bolt he always uses there. So we'll try to be conscious of that. And the best case scenario is he just plays a big card here. Uh, I wonder if that counts. It's two plus two. Uh, I, I'm just wondering if I should be um, bouncing the, the, the sneezing zombie here. I think we are. I think we're bouncing this one. I know it seems weird giving it back, giving him field clear back into his hand, but it's almost always lethal. He rolled a one, so it's two. If he kills either of these, that's two damage usually to face. Bouncing this just makes it so much more likely that this goes face here. 50-50, too bad. But there's also superpowers here that make us win. Uh, our suit, our ultimate, more spore wood. Rain we already used. Uh, blow would not have helped, but yeah. Usually wouldn't it? Uh, we got down to an empty hand there, which is interesting. <laughs> so far, pine clones have done nothing, man. Which is, I'm happy. I want mushrooms to be good without pine clones. Here's Card Shark sniping me. Let's see what you got, Card Shark. Very regular, regular in the stream. Looks like you got me this time. I'm gonna play around Extinction event. Actually, I'm gonna come on. Is Berry Blast good against a Morticia, or should I just go as aggro as possible? Yummy avocado. Waka. I think since I'm gonna play slow here. Ooh. So there's a fast play. Uh, there's a very uh, acid rainy play here. Honestly, if this absorbs his acid rain, I'm actually gonna play faster. Screw extinction event. Summoning here. It, oh, are you freaking kidding me? Come on, man. 
Why would you not summoning one of these? He knows I'm running a mushroom deck. I'm sure he's in the stream right now. Plus, if I play it... Anyway. I don't understand. Hey, we have Rescue Radish, guys. What is this going to be? Either Teleportation Zombie. Or Drone Engineer. Or Rat. Or Squirrel. Alright. If it's Rat, then you got me, bro. Then that's called hard sniping, and I'll probably concede and not even count the game if you're freaking trying to run rat into this deck. So far, so good. I could have actually gone face with that and then just berry blasted us. Maybe that was a mistake. What is this guy doing? Did he California rule? Is this even fair? Uh, should be okay. Well, I guess this is better, right? It keeps the Punisher more alive for sure. He's used a superpower already. Yeah. Now have a one drop to teleport in here. Maybe that would have been a consideration. If he had a one, the punishment was not safe there. It's good. Face. Bats would have also killed that one. <laughs> I probably should have put the puff shroom here. Come on. Bruh. So that's two cards for one. Hit him, yes. What was that play? I don't even know what that play was. So the question is, am I grabbing the buff shroom represents this is like we're not gonna have the buff shroom. The buff shroom represents a lot here. So I think I'm gonna grab the buff shroom. I think I'm going to play this. Technically, he could California roll an Acid Rain, but I I'm going to... I'm going to go for the damage. We don't have a ton of cards left, so... I'm going to try to get a lot of damage. He has zero, zero responsive power this turn. It's a good buff shroom. One more mushroom? Holy crap! Holy pine clones from hell! What is even going on here, guys? So we want this to be... I don't even know which lane, but this is always going to end up against the 2-2 buff shroom. Look at these plays. Is there any... I think we want our lane 4 to be empty, so I'll play lane 3 first. Look at this play, guys. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> ah, Extinction Event gets value, but it doesn't even really... doesn't even do that much. I'm just thinking if we get a Punish Room, we kind of want it to happen here, so... He nibbled, great. Acid Rain, okay. That's a strong Acid Rain. But we still got six damage coming in. And a Berry Blast in hand. Spring Bean, love it. I'm, I'll save the Spring Bean and just hit him in the face here. I mean... The play's probably pass. Springbeam makes him California roll and gets summoning, and I don't know what else. We just need two, and then three will just finish him off next turn. Actually, pass here. Teleport. Sneezing zombie. Teleport. Concede. That is not gonna get it done. Horo. GG. Yes. He used, uh, I meant bats. You guys know what I meant. Another Morticia. Okay, we got fast plays. We got fast plays. We got some plays. We got plays. We got plays. 
just works better into like teleportation zombie dice than two plus three. Yeah, we play fast here. There's a possibility if we have a really good berry blast, I'll do that. And then do three, four. Franz? Do we know this guy? Is this my good friend, Fran? For a ninja? No, it's not him. He had a different, completely different PvP hero's name. Thank you, Card Shark, for not hard countering my deck, though. <laughs> I really do appreciate it. Yeah, it doesn't super matter. If we don't have the Berry Blast, I'm just going to take this. It's my favorite hero. It's really hard to say, and I'm not just trying to like be fair. Like, There's so many guys for so many heroes. Wow, now what? I feel like this is going to happen on 5. I'm just going to play Punisher. I was thinking of playing more Spore and going for turn 4. This guy's not playing any cards, though. Play a card there. First card played. Congratulations. By the way, summoning in bats, he would have used Nose Acid Rain, so let's just assume he has Evaporate. Not going on too much for Liam Dare, you know what I'm saying. Uh, the Morspor actually does get more value later, so let's just hit him with the uh, Plankton right now. The Puff Shroom definitely complements that play very nicely. Uh, I didn't play her in Extinction event. Probably should have thought about that a little more. Digging for it. No! No Extinction event. This guy dead. So he always gets summoning her bats there. Goes for summoning. Summoning Cat Lady, nice. Actually stalls for two turns. And yeah, I don't know what happened that game, man, but... All I know, all I know, we 5-0 with the deck. You can basically do this with any hero, like you don't need the, the brainy cards, or the smarty cards, I mean, are not necessary for the strat. I, I was almost going to stream Solar Flare today and run... Um, and run like Sunny or Sherm for some ramp, and then that sets up more late game, and also ramps into Cobb Cannon and and Glimshire. I'm not playing this guy again, man. The same exact guy. I don't play the same guy twice in one stream. We don't do that. Third and Morticia, it's a different I almost thought it was I almost thought it was the same guy. Come on, man. Alright. We going Chinese this time. It's what we doing. I'm not feeling the I'm feeling the setup for the pine clown. The problem is we don't have any molecule to fix extinction of it. So we kinda live and die. With the same thing. Guacamole, guacamole. It's past. When does the stream begin? Uh, in the winter, it ends up being at random times. I don't know about this pine clone, though. I'm not really feeling it. I feel like we're gonna get extinction evented to the Ice Age. I'd love if he played it now. Instead of saving it, but it's so obvious. It's okay. Honestly, the acid rain later is probably <laughs> more dangerous. Is he just gonna pass again? I think if he passes, we'll actually go with the Sporticus. No pass! I mean, we still could do this play because we have more Spore into stuff, man. We have a bigger Pine Clone next turn. What is this gonna be? It's probably, I mean, it could be Teleportation Zombie. Usually turn four, it's gonna be like Chemist or, or Brett. I think this will punish him better later. I, I'm not smelling the Teleportation, though. Well, even if it's Teleportation Zombie, this is a fine play. The Morse Spore really does work with Gloomstream and other things later on. 
but let's just take the pine cones while we have it. It's chemist. Call them out. So we end up trading a, you know, one tiny card for a chemist here. We end up with three pine cones on the field. It also means he wants to play tricks next turn, so the Sporticus becomes better. Welcome, oh, oh, I I welcome you to try that, bro. It's actually this. Okay, I, that is the reason why Supernova Guard is not really a hard counter to Pine Clone. So you can teleport it in next turn, but just playing it, it still has the problem of being a Gargantuar, a big dry zombie that dies. I spent three sun to kill that. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't have anything to back it up. Well, I probably should have actually played more spore there. Not bad. But he can play it again. He's going to teleport it in probably now. Honestly, if he does that, he loses the game, so. Do I look like I care? Teleport Supernova Guard loses to this. Period. Punta. Not to be confused with Puto. Punta. I mean, period. Yeah? Full stop, as they say in the old country. Tell for Supernova Guard, don't do it, don't do a damn, not a damn thing. See you later, bro. Not how you counter Pine Club. <laughs> Sanction event? Yes, if you're not running Molecule. Major problem. Yes! Spring Green is. Spring Bean literally is one of the most underrated cards in this game. It removes anything from the field. I know it gives them the card back, but as a tempo card, man, a Countertron was when the Spring Beans really hit hard. I think it's better than Jumping Bean. Jumping Bean there actually would have been better. But it's just so versatile because you can play it, you know, earlier. You can play it together with another cheapo, El Cheapo card. I'm going to keep the three threes, I think. I think these are very good cards against Rustbolt. He's usually trick heavy and not very good at dealing three threes. Uh, love to finally see our signature in our hand. We'll see if he goes for like a teacher or something like that here. I'd love to sig, sig a teacher or a Puparazzi. But yeah, again, slow setup. We got the, the cool thing is how strong like the threes are. If you even include, you know, Shroom for Two, Buff Shroom as a three. Uh, it really helps you start setting up on turn three and then building on top of that for the late game. So we'll just play Sporticus here, I think. It's pretty good. Um, the Rescue Radish is arguably the better play here because the Sporticus. I mean, if he's gonna Rolling Stone something, I'd probably rather this get Rolling Stone, but. I think it's unlikely the rescue rescue radish can actually rescue the the mush boom too. All right, for that reason, I'm gonna go Sporticus. And you know, if he's not playing exactly Rolling Stone here, it means the Sporticus will hit his face. That's okay though. That black hole is a problem. People were uh, people, aka Sandwich, was trying to convince me to run Mushroom Grotto while we were making the deck. I think this this black hole is <laughs> a major problem. This black hole is a major problem. Yo, guys. I don't know what I'm even doing now. Uh, I look at decks at the end of the stream. There's As long as they haven't been used up, there's a max of seven. Moving that out of the black hole. Wait, what? First of all, you're running Terrify. What? Second of all... What? I don't even know what just happened, guys. I don't even know what just happened. Yummy... Uh, this is a pretty good uh, mushroom. Yummy avocado... It absorbs this lane, so we get the Sporticus, which punishes the tricks. We got Brainana coming in next turn. I don't know if with five Bra... I don't know what's happening. Watch him pass again and lose to Brainana. Proc the block. Thank you, Mushboom. Oh my gosh. Poison Shroom value. Could you please pass? 
Do it for me. Do it for Big Gay Fry. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Come on. Come on, pass. God damn it. So, what are the plays? We can I can literally just play Dry Gloom Shroom. If this is teleportation zombie, Brainana is still correct. Honestly, I can't see this being anything that's not teleportation zombie, so I'm gonna... I'm hitting with the cheese. Yes! Called him out! Let's go! <laughs> New favorite deck? I like how we have, um... We have, like, a Gloom Shroom combo to kill the... the oh my god, or we have just second brain out of that also works. <laughs> this also works! Come on, Pat! One more! One more! One more! One more! <laughs> One, I had a group of friends that used to call me Big Gay Fry. That was just my nickname. One more pass. Come on. Pass. Come on, pass. That's kind of like a pass. Yeah, that's good enough. We'll bring that to that. We will bring that to that. I love how it proc the block. If he uses one of his superpowers, the Morse board just... Just... Right in his face. Yes, 7 and 0, I don't care. There's no way out. Uh, if he uses heal, it doesn't work. And none of his superpowers, obviously, prevent more uh, face damage than heal. Prevent death better than heal. Great! <laughs> He's like, okay. Sporticus. Sporticus my ass. My big gay ass. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Guys, I don't even know. Yes! Yes! So we're 7 and 0. Working on the 10 and 0. Is this just Pine Clone Brainana in disguise? Honestly, Pine Clones. They were good in one game. Not necessary. Why is everyone in Morticia? Whoa, 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 what even happened? So we'll always keep this. It's too many threes. So process of elimination. It's fine. <laughs> Yummy avocado. I gotta bounce it. It's so sad, but... Can't have that hit in our feet. You know what I'm saying? They'll probably play it next turn, and we'll just hit it with the, with the cheese. Automod is having fun with the. <laughs> that right now. Yes! Boom! Sporticus, good card. Not good at dealing three damage. Senorita Skunk. That's a good name for her. Pine Clone? I don't know. I like how Buff Shroom can turn this into a 4-4. Just, I just like it. Yeesh. <sighs> Yummy avocado. <laughs> just gonna set this up. I kind of want this to turn into the 4-4. Uh, we don't really have a play next turn. If he plays like a Bounty Hunter, we'll bounce it. Oh, now we got a play. Oh, now we got play. We got play for days right now. So, Shroom for 2, Buff Shroom looks like it. The cool thing is we'll also have the Splash here. Uh, the This 4-4 four four will probably live here. We have the splash. Is there a reason to put this like here? This is probably a card we'd like to cover, not get covered. So in case he plays in lane one, we can always play the Gloom Shroom here. Not super likely. I I like our position here. We should be able to get a pretty good Gloom Shroom in three next turn. You'll clear him. Especially against Teleportation Zombie. He might not rely on that too much against Kabloom Heroes who do damage well. That's okay. Punish. Got the real Punish Room. 
Zorillo is Spanish for Ska. Cool. Now the buff shroom. Look at this. See, he's not usually going to go after the 2 2. I mean, punish room from freaking hell. Including teleportation zombie, which he's likely actually relying on now to be able to make a play. I mean, that is a 9 damage, like, half of a 1-drop. Holy crap with that. That's fine. That's evaporate. That's probably all he's doing this turn. What else you got? No superpowers. He can block the 5 with his summoning or his bats, but... Still kind of sad. I, I like how Buff Shroom is actually going to buff, like, like a 5-5 five, five next turn. Oh, that's so good. That's okay. He's ramping a lot, which is dangerous. He's making actually two more brains than we are son every turn. There's the proc, the block. There's the summoning. Just get Cat Lady, please. Um. It means the buff shroom hits a second time. Hell yeah! Free <laughs> <Bring> damage! <laughs> I don't know if that's even good. Sporticus and all kinds of stuff. Okay, the question is, what's better, Punish Room or, or Sport? It's got to be the, the Punish Room, right? Sporticus, though, does, for every trick he plays, just does so much here. Uh, teleport Garg Launcher is also a thing. Maybe I will go with the Sporticus. Screw it. We can always uh, grab one. If he kills something, we can always rescue Radish Buff Room and do stuff next turn. I'm playing, not playing Punish Room into Teleport Guard Throwing Guard. That's all I got. <laughs> Let's see what he's packing now. <laughs> Dangerous. Huh? Honestly, Guard Throwing Guard doesn't even trade well, because now that this has 6 attack. Yeah, kind of call that one. <laughs> but now it's, you know, it's a 1 for 1 trade and he gets a Garg. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. We have a Spring Bean in our hands. Oh no! Wait! Never mind, he got he got acid rain. Uh-uh. Ah, uh, he rolled a three. Hello, nurse! Oh, you get him bounce. Wait a second. Three, two, and three is not it. We're gonna give him one of these. And give him one of these. Simple as that. I mean, it's, we need two damage. Opponent has two brains. I think we got him here. There's a lot happening here with the Punisher. Also, if he blocks and plays a superpower. No, actually, more. That's dead. Okay. Huh? No Zombot. One, actually, Zombot would have lost because the Punisher actually would hit two times. Uh? Oh, here's two to face. Yes! Yeah! Sorry, the wins and losses were gone for that whole game. I spaced out. But we're 8 and 0 now with this deck. Let's go! Pine Clone's still not getting it done. I'm so happy. Yes! 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 Dang, we're kicking it today. <laughs> I'm so happy this deck is working, man. I am so the happiest the guy and the happiest Jew. Oh. Yeah, we were definitely 7 and 0, right? And now we're 8 and 0. Go back in the video if you don't believe me, you YouTube people. Now what? So. Pine Clone is actually a very good card against Zemec. I'm gonna not go with a 2 2 against this guy. It's a couple berry blasts. I'm not feeling the Pine Clone anymore, though. Okay, I don't really know what's happening. <laughs> Usually this is good against Zemek in terms of killing all that early aggression. I don't think we blow that. Would Mushroom Grotto be good instead of Pine Clone? I don't know. I I really have no idea if Mushroom Grotto would be any good in this day. I think that's a pass. Yeah, the fries are already determined. It's already 8 and 0. So congratulations to the yes voters, the 69. Nice. Percent of yes voters. Get that going. 
So, you know, there's wrath and superpowers that protect this Gargologist. This is basically just going to be Gargmech. He's also running garbage. Hopefully we can kill this this next turn, the uh, Gladiator. At least soften it up so we can blow cards later. Oh, looks like we're going to have to blow that now. You like really like to blow a Garg. So the answer is yes. Yummy avocado, Blow is still a 50 50 next turn. Do I need the face damage? I think I'm gonna go for the 50-50 blow next turn. This is a really strange play, but I'm gonna I'm gonna just grab a free card. That is how I roll. We're anyway doing this. And this it gets blocked by the gladiators, there's no block meter considerations. Uh as many spring beans as we can get to deal with the gargs now would be. Very, very good. What five cost guard does he run? Uh, Hippity, huh? There's Wrath, so that's why the 3 4 there is significantly better than the 3 3. Because uh, Z Mech has ways of dealing 3, has basically no way of dealing 4, unless it's Fruitcake, which is a whole investment. Da da da! Okay, that's a way of dealing 4. Come on, man. It's pretty good, though. Suddenly, Pine Clone would probably be one of the best things we could get. Uh, yeah, still not feeling this. Two damage to this card, though, isn't bad. It actually would have been in Berry Blast range. Probably playing this actually would have been good. Are we playing around with Superpower still, though? We haven't seen one from. Oh, no, he he's Rockwell, obviously. That's so annoying. That That's really the thing we did not want to happen. So now I think I'm going to let her rip with the blow. Well, I don't actually have to. I can always blow next turn. This is really awkward, but this is the play. Now this gladiator takes two plus two and we'll save the berry blast and it'll just be really efficient now. Should have done this last turn. Taking a lot of damage though. Luckily we rolled really high. Anti-hero still does work against the gladiator, obviously. It's three. Here's a buff trump. Sheesh! Wow, look at this play, guys. So that's a really good blow against a 6-drop. Humongous value. And look at this play. Look at this play. He can't run. I mean, Chickening would be really strong here. Uh, he's not running Chickening, though, right? What was he even doing passing on turn 7? I think we're about to find out. I mean, we are all in. All in. There's no z Super. There's not... That doesn't... Nothing has one health anymore. Oh, are we all in? If he has chickening, that's it. I mean, there's nothing we could do. With this hand, there's no way we could just n never play cards and always play around chickening. That's it, guys. Uh, he had weed spray. Uh. <laughs> Not quite as bad as chickening, but... <laughs> Pass again. Damn it. Now what? Double berry blast. So, well, this can be single berry blasted next turn. I don't know, man. At least it wasn't chickening. So we actually have single berry. Oh, that's a one? This is still a winnable game. I don't know about you. No, 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 well, 
Probably healing his face. Okay. There's a very bus. I think we saved the other very blessed. I think we want this to hit our face anyway. You're going to dose. Proc the block, please. Do not hit the 3-3. Three, three. That is not going to help us. Too bad. A block. Never mind. Ugh. It's all going horribly wrong. It's all going horribly wrong. We need some solid top decks right now, man. That is not it. That is not it. Uh, we're so done. Edward, so done. Uh, I don't, we're not going to get 12 more damage, right? Why are, Why not protect the 3-1, though? Did he miss? That doesn't make any sense. Why would you... Why not keep another card on the field? Is the real question. This could combine with something, but honestly, a 613. Uh... Walk a moldy, walk, walk a moldy. All right, we'll take the L against I don't know what very very scuffed guard mech. Too bad. Eight and one. Didn't quite get the ten and oh. Yeah, man. Uh, it's weed spray. <laughs> Got us. Got us with the weed. Want to be here for the win? I know, right? Uh, not the same guy. Uh, I'm not feeling the punish room here. I'd love to get some good pine clones. I probably should have gotten rid of the buff room too. Right? Literally just play first few turns, hit him with the pine clone, and grow from there. That that probably getting rid of the buff buff room will hopefully get value. We can even save it for like turn five. Just be better. Ooh. 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 Honestly, let's just test now for his ultimate. If he goes for it and we trade if we trade more spore for his ultimate, I think that's a win. Obviously we have a buff stream in our hands. I mean ain't no secret, I'm just pulling it, man. Oh my gosh, weed spray is not gonna get it done. That's all I gotta say. It's been all Z Mech and Immortisha. <laughs> Have we played against anyone who's not z -Mech? We played a Boogaloo, I think. Oh, come on, here comes the flag. Happy we played fast here. Let's get some value. So we go, we kill the teacher. I think the con man is the least of our troubles right now. We, But we get all the... Uh, the cool thing is... We get all the, all the... We get extra mushrooms. I probably should kill the teacher, though. This is... It's his engine. It's probably the most valuable card he has right now. He can suffer the damage a little bit. The cool thing is there's not a whole lot that saves the TJ here. Healthy Treat does not. Lightning Bolt Super is Rockwall Wood. Lightning Bolts do not. And, uh, really happy to take that out before he gets too much value. Too many, uh, going viral discounts and whatnot. Uh, we'll see if we see the big sus pass turn three here. <laughs> Gotta save room for the pine clone. I'll probably just go face with the buff shim here. Uh, well, it's worth it for temporary damage. And face damage and damaging his thing, Ema Bobber. And it turns it it's a it's a two cost three three. So for next turn. I think it's worth it. Again, none of his super his saws his lightning bolt supers they take out a little bit here. That's annoying. Spring me. It's a lot of it's a big con now. I don't actually have to pine clone here, so it means I could probably just spring me. See what we uh pull off the top of the deck. Yeah, shroom for two would be really good right now. I think two shroom for two is off the top. <laughs> <sighs> 
Well, we're just gonna play reactive. I, I think this con man is a little bit too thick. This is, I mean, okay, do math. This is five, six, seven, eleven. Whoa, sheesh! All right, screw it. Buff shroom it is. Not only is it creating lethal, countering the four two. We'll take five more. Uh, going viral. Didn't even think about how much damage that would be. 10, 11. We win against going viral, though, which is probably what all he's doing anyway. <laughs> Healthy tree does not win. It only does 12. Lightning. God damn. God damn it. Going viral plus lightning bolt. Yeah, we're kind of screwed now. Top deck, Berry Blast. Are we ending up at 8 at 2 at the end of this? I, I think I'm probably just going to Spring Bean Lane 1. I don't even know what I'm doing right now. What am I doing right now? I can only play one card. It ain't Pine Clone. <laughs> For hell, ain't Pine Clone. There's no way of preventing this. If we spring beam, the 5 1 does just as much damage. It, I, I don't see any. <laughs> I feel like this 4 4 has to hit, or that's it. Okay, the, the cute play is playing Pine Clone here, because then we have two shots in lane 1. This is actually the play. And, you know, if he has Bungie Plumber. But if he has Fruitcake, we still win. It actually is Pine Clone. Pine Clone for the win? That's definitely the play. That's the only play that increases our odds of winning this turn. Going viral ain't gonna get it. But now what? If he, it's not enough if he has a fruitcake. What can he punch? I, I don't think there's anything. I think that's it. I think we... Well, he has to roll three. <laughs> that's, the, that's the game right now. That is not it. Come on! Come on! Come on! No! He knew it wasn't already because if that if he wasn't rolling a three, only the front pine clone attacks there because it's enough for lethal. So he rolls a three and wins. Okay, great. Eight and two. Wonderful stream, guys. <laughs> we only won when it mattered for the prize, for the bets. That's all that merely matters. Come on, we had him. <sighs> we had that guy. We had that guy. Hotel California. All right, guys, that's enough. <laughs> enough is enough. Enough is enough. I will see you guys in the next one. That was a great, awesome stream. I love the way that mushrooms are rolled. This is going to be the beginning of something, man. Solar Flare, even Spidel, even Captain Combustible has vegetation mutation and all kinds of cool stuff. Lily of the Valley setups for mushrooms. I, I'm really excited to actually get mushroom decks to be a good thing. Maybe we'll try to do a couple more buff shroom decks before we do the Kabloom tier list. I was supposed to do the Kabloom. I think Kabloom is next. I'm probably going to literally delay the Kabloom tier list until after I do a few more of these style of decks so I'll know what to do with all the mushrooms, man. Were the Punish Rooms worth it? Honestly, I, I think the Punish Rooms might have been the weakest link. Didn't do much. They, they carried one game. There's something here, guys. There's something here. I will see you guys in the next stream. That was amazing. Peace. This is Fry.